It's extremely inspiring. I can see the contrast in the distance between like the trees and the sky on, on bright days. And I found a way to try and recreate that in my paintings. The house that we are in right now is an 1865 uh, renovated farmhouse. Uh, many of the landscapes that I do is in conjunction with uh, the farmland in the area. Like the old farm, Bert Schmiege has weathered some storms, but he appreciates where he is now. When you go from having sight and being independent to then circling around it, it's kind of like you almost have to find yourself again. Not that you're a different person, but you have to learn and accept to do things differently. Uh, that's the backyard. After 20 years, Bert has no central yeah. vision, poor depth perception, and is colorblind, but finds himself with a new confidence to capture his emotions in what may seem an unusual outlet on canvas. It's kind of incongruent that, you know, someone with a visual impairment would attempt painting or, or be involved with the visual arts, but I find it replaces a loss of independence. Several years ago, at his wife's encouragement, Bert picked up a paintbrush again for the first time since high school art class, just to see what would happen. What happened is nothing short of amazing. The first ones that I did were very one-dimensional. But as it is in the art world, Bert settled into a unique creative method that works for him. You see, most of this I don't even really look at. I just know that I'm doing it. In fact, he's lost in his work for sometimes hours at a time. He describes what happens here in this tiny studio as somewhat mystical, never knowing what will evolve on the canvas, led more by feeling than sight. A feeling. That's, that's what art is all about. It isn't about the, yeah. the sight. And I'll put paint on the canvas and it'll totally change because of the way it feels and the way it kind of paints itself on the canvas. Certain kinds of music will put you in a good mood, a somber mood. It's the same way with the paint. Uh, it, it puts you in a, a frame of mind that, that just allows you to, to connect with the canvas. A connection he can't fully appreciate as he divides the painting into four quarters, looking toward one area while painting another. His limited peripheral vision allows him only glimpses of his own artistic vision. From the shadows emerge scenes, the sighted world appreciates in a much different way. If I painted the way I saw, it would all be just on the, the four corners of the canvas. <laughs> the middle part is, is virtually gone. After years of seeing his independence fade away, Bert finally sees his own future as something of a blank canvas, believing his blindness doesn't limit his interpretations of the world, but instead enhances it. Without being able to drive and without being able to do a lot of things, I do have limitations. When I'm painting on the canvas, the limitations aren't there. It's, it's endless to what I can create. And, and the lines aren't going to be perfect. Uh, they're not going to be straight. But if they represent what it is I want to try and, and put on the canvas, that's, that's how I feel uh, complete. <laughs>